uh, real longevity treatments, real treatments that can reverse your epigenetic age, it is likely to be a gene therapy. Um, it's a mechanism by which we're gonna come into the cells of your body, 40 trillion human cells, and we're gonna modify uh, your genetics to set you back to a more youthful state. Today, gene therapies for rare diseases is expensive. It's like a million dollars, two right. million dollars. However, we have a proof point of a gene therapy that was made for a dollar. And this is the mRNA vaccines. When you are producing something at the scale of billions of doses, the price drops down to near zero. And so the mRNA COVID vaccines are gene therapies. There was introducing nucleic acids into the cells that were modifying your, your, your genome. Forget about the issues of, of vaccines for a moment. Uh, and there's one thing we have as an advantage. All 8 billion people on Earth have the same disease of aging. And so if something works for someone in Manhattan, it's going to work for someone in El Salvador and someone in Mozambique. And so the, the belief and the goal is that these therapeutics, when they actually work, are going to be cheap and available to everybody. The same thing happens in technology. The first cell phone is a briefcase, and it costs you know $100,000, and it drops a call every block. Then when it gets really good, there's 8 billion of them, 7 billion of them, and it costs 40 bucks. So so by when do you think like longevity for all would be possible? I think we'll see this by 2040. I think we'll see this in, the, I think the first few years when things don't work so well, the richest people in the world will try it. They'll be the guinea pigs. And then by the time it starts working really well, that it, the prices will drop precipitously. There was a study done by, by uh, London School of Business, Oxford and Harvard that said adding one productive year of longevity uh, is worth $38 trillion to the global economy. And so imagine if at the top of your game, you're not forced to retire, you, have, you feel amazing, you've got the energy, you've got the best network you've ever had. Why would you ever want to retire? Right? And so you remain productive in society. Whatever that means with the robots and the AIs, I don't know yet. Thank you. Please. Thank you, Peter.